We are rolling out. Rolling out of the cut this morning. Chifo and Forrest. We're back. We're back in action. And after a long week of wind, it finally laid down. It is beautiful out here this morning. And we're rigging up. Some of the deep drop rigs, some old ones, we're cutting the, cutting the hooks off and crimping new ones on because they're old and crusty. And we are headed offshore to do some commercial deep dropping today. Stay tuned, should be an epic day. So, on the run out, you guys just saw me talking about rigging up. You saw a couple finger mullet here, and it's been probably a week since, it's been over a week since we've been offshore. There's been a lot of blowage going on, and you know that means mallet and mallet. Some type of debris is gonna be out there. And if we do run into something, and we got a well full of finger mullet, it's gonna go down. Which, where do you want to throw up, boys? I'll throw off the bow, off the right side. I enjoy. So, I'm gonna get up there and force is gonna film. Okay. Enjoy some nice Maui Maui oh, debris. You, it up and I'll go sit there. you guys already know I'm throwing my 12 foot. It's 11 and a half foot black pearl cast and it's half inch mesh on these finger mold it. And uh, Chief loves these nets. He really yeah, does. We do. You can use code That's Adam10. Oh, shoot. ten percent off Scoop. on anything. That's a, not a huge school, but I know it's not. But we're gonna get it. Nice Malus. Here, Chief O. Wrong time, but we got them. Yeah. Any size to them? Are they? Uh, they're not horrible. We just need something to get them fired up from the Surthonius. At worst case, mackerel. They're not horrible. At worst case, mackerel bait. It's nice to keep coaches. No, they're not bad at all. They're actually, it. Holy crap. Nice. Yeah, that'll work. Work, that'll get some dolphin fired up. Oh, On the run out, we found a bunch of greenies. Oh, look at Chief Foolery. Chief, they're, they're tornado. <laughs> On the raggedy sabiki hooks. Uh, look at all these birds. I, let's see how many force pulls up. I'm feeling a one. Now, you know, I could. I could call that, that is a petite though. I could good. call that from a long, a far, far, far place away. So, this is called a greenie. Some people call them threadfin herring. We don't, because we don't catch sailfish. But, look at all these birds. All around that, that red buoy. As we were running out, there was just an acre of these greenies on top flicking. And uh, they're literally right behind the boat. You can see it's just a little disturbance on the top of the water right there. You still on them, Chief Piece? Oh yeah, Chief Piece. So you saw we netted those little pilchards and then we got bigger baits at the bottom. So if we run into a dolphin, it's gonna go down and we're marking them pretty good too. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The forest tree foolery. What do you have like one hook on there? Yeah, we don't have any. <laughs> oh, you can see them all now, look. Wait for the swell to go down. See him flicking right under those two birds. He just came out of them, but they're they're rank. Yeah, nice. Beautiful bait, beautiful bait. You guys know I like my sardines better, but we will take some of these. Wrong kind foolery. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have seen us catch bait a million times. Yeah. Look. Something. Wait for the swell to go down. Look at them all. Here we go. On the Surfonius. Look at them. Look at them all. Aggregating. Aggregating. So then Chief will drive up right into them and then we'll stop the boat, pitch our beaks. Look at this school right here. Holy smokes. I, I guarantee you there's a dolphin in here on these baits, especially after a swell like this, or a cobia. Definitely a sailfish. But, oh, real quick, I gotta show you guys. Chief did a little something something. Oh, nice, Chief. Chief, you're whacking him on the raggedy sabiq. Forest on his standard one. 
Oh, a nice horn belly. Look at look at what Chief did. Moving weight on the Vat Cat. The new logo for the Twin V. Very Chief esque. Yeah. Chief, someone made a comment about your sombrero. Oh, they did. They said it was very Victor esque of you. <laughs> it's true. He's, Victor's one of my idols, you know. I don't know. Chief doesn't even watch moving weight, he just watches Land Shark outdoors. It's okay, I respect that's that. True. I that's do. True. That's true. My I respect it. moving weight first. Yeah, mine's in the water. Oh! Maui on. Horse just flipped his. Chiefo, what's the deal? Oh, they didn't eat. They probably want that little bait. We were just bump trolling this weed line. I didn't even record. Like he's gonna jump right here. We were just bump trolling this little weed line here. And, uh, oh, look at him behind the boat. Oh, he ate you. Got a bunch of golf behind the boat. Wait, Forrest. Let me pitch a couple of these little baits. Watch this. Watch this little pilcher. Watch. Look at, they probably want that little pilcher. Look, they're going to crush it. Yeah, the bait's too big. They don't want it. Right behind the boat, right there. Oh my gosh. He didn't let you do much with that thing, did he? Oh, that's nice one. There you go. Look, Chief's going to get swallowed up right back. Oh, he's on you. Oh, he ate you. There's another one to your left, Forrest. So you needed the single hook. Oh, no. oh Chiefo. Like <laughs> Some oh, oh, Chiefo broke you off. Right here. Look, look, he's gonna go. Oh! Get him on the flip. Flip him, flip him. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the weeds. You're weeded up, Jay. Oh. Oh, had him on. The boys are losing. Oh, another one behind the boat. The boys are losing Maui's left and right here. I'm not sure what to do. Here. Give me the, give me the slip of tea to see this through your life. Oh. Glad we netted these pilchards. Oh my. That's a nice one. Ready? This should be interesting. Couple live pilchies right behind the boat. Oh, watch them get in that. Ready? Oh, look at them coming in. That's so smooth. Just, just saw the boys each lose a dolphin. Never thought I'd see that. That one ate, one came in and ate and swam over there. So I don't know if the school's over there or what. Got mine in the water. The boys are being awfully suspect. I can go to the front of the boat, see if I can see one. Whoa! Cheap. This is, they feel like groupers, don't they? Uh, yeah, dude, the head shake? That ain't a jack, dude. No. Better oh, it's scoping. It's scoping. It's a flow. It's a flow. It's a flow. It's a flow. Oh, it's a it's a flow. It's a flow. Someone get the Chief, relax. I don't want to hear anything. I just don't. I don't. Chief item all over me on that last drop. Is that a grouper? Yeah. Uh, 
he's organic, they caught a grouper. Craziest thing oh, wow. ever. Oh, that's wow. a butterball, dude. Wow. This fish, that's a 25 pound black yeah, that's a nice black fish. Look how that's pretty it is, too. Oh. I literally, he didn't even fight that hard. Wow. Is it all lit up? Oh, yeah. That's pretty dirty. That's dude, pretty I lit, wait, tell me. Yeah. Is it I pitched a bait behind the boat, mm, and this giant blow up, like bigger than a Bonita blow up, I knew. I was like, what the heck? And I and then I pitched my bait and he came and swirled on it twice. I'm like, is that a black thing? Middle of the day in October. Came on top and freaking inhaled it. It was so sick. And you know, do a little throw of bleedage here. Yeah. Oh yes. Alright, so day has been pretty slow. We ran out originally after we caught those dolphin and tried to do some deep dropping conditions weren't right at all obviously you know still got a shark problem out here never gonna go away and came in on a wreck here and uh <clears throat> i dropped a couple baits to the bottom hooked a couple rudder fish brought some up pulled hook on a couple got shark caught that amberjack that you guys saw and then out of nowhere i just threw it was a raggedy bait that i was fishing wasn't swimming i just threw him behind the boat it was the middle of the day literally 12 o'clock and blackfin should be gone by now because it's not spring. And uh, but we always do get one little push them in the winter time. Giant explosion right behind the boats. Too literally just too big to be a bonita. And I'm like, what in the world? So I, I hooked the bait, pitch. <laughs> I hooked the bait, pitched it right behind the boat. Came up once, swirled on it, and I'm like, kind of looked like a blackfin. And then did it again, and I was like telling the boys, I'm telling Chief Force, I'm like, it's a blackfin, it's a blackfin. And they're like, you're very suspect. It's a bonita. And obviously I'm in my head like there's no way it's a black fin in the middle of the day like this. And then he came up again and inhaled it. Set the hook, shot straight down, and then we all looked down and there he was. Gold, gold back. And I'm like, we're like, dude, it's a tuna. It's like a 25 pounder. That's a big fish. And we're gonna reset, see if we can't get some more. But I was just on, you know, the triple hook greeny. Never fails. I really should I I really should have turned the camera on. You should have seen those explosions. It's my bad. Oh, oh, got him on. You got him for us? Oh, oh. Where are you now? Oh, sure. Look out. Rio, Rio, Rio. They come on the other side. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm on of him. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm leaving him in. I'm leaving him in. Go, get, get one, boys. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, no. 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 Oh, you guys just saw that. We had all those ambrines come up and the shark scared them down. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we just had the rudder fish come up. 
So we were looking for and this freaking shark. Look at this piece of junk. Scared him down. Sam, like 10 of them, a dude. Sam Hill crank. Oh, oh gag. Oh. He came up <laughs> I think he did, Chief. That's very grouper esque. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, Force got him on. What the? <laughs> Chief, that's actually a grouper. If like, like no, look, do you see that head shake? Did you see? If this is double gags, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh my this gosh. This is my spot, boys. This is where we caught those big ones. That oh, one time where we caught easy, like boys. 15 in like a day. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Chief's getting <laughs> sus foolery. <laughs> Isn't that something he's a free swimming bait? You think it, you think it is a gag? No, he's, he's, what's he doing? He's, spinning? he's yeah, he's spinning. I mean, it's it's not. It is. Kind of gave up. My, mine is not a jack. This is not feeling like shark, an AJ. Oh my god! Oh my god! Make sure we don't get tangled, Forrest. Oh, yeah. Is it a gag? Forrest doesn't have one. I don't think you may have a gag. You got a jack, Forrest. Uh, mine's looking the same color as his. Yeah. Raggedy. Oh, that's a keeper though. Keep it, though. Yeah. No. Yeah. They gotta be 36 inches to keep commercially. I think it's 28 recreational. Yeah, yeah. So those would have been two keepers for for eating an amberjack, but I'm not raggedy and I'm not eating an amberjack. Chief likes them. Not bad. I'm sure they're all right, but we got a blackfin and, and uh dolphin in the cooler. I'm not eating a dolphin yet. We got blackfin in the cooler, you know. Just a little something here. It some. Is the FPL, guys, it, so it, it, it begs the question of cobia. That is not a cobia. Yeah, you like yeah. And that run was very non-cobia esque. Yeah, very kingfish very slash wahoo esque. Come on, Forrest. Has he had any big head shakes? Yeah. Oh boy, look at all that shit. Oh, wow. It was just straight. He hit that thing at like a hundred miles an hour. He did, dude. Foul hook weed. I don't think so. I think it's foul hook bonita. Nah, it's a foul hook kingfish or something. Just don't, just don't, don't pull too hard on him. There he is, right there. Kingfish. You get bit, chief. Very got him in the in the back. He really hit that deal going. A thousand miles an hour. But I think we're gonna come back out tomorrow and do it again. But we're definitely gonna do a sushi video for you guys. So stay tuned. We're gonna go back to the house, cook up some sushi, drop a like on the video if you're enjoying it so far. Subscribe if you're not ready. I don't know if I showed you guys earlier, but Chief did a little something to the vat cat. Moving weight on the back cat with the muck, mutton logo with a cigar man hanging out of his mouth. We actually we have, actually have a couple shirts I got. Forrest is wearing one right now. Chief, I still got it. I still owe you one of those. Yeah, if you do. text me tonight, I'll bring you one tomorrow. How do you feel about that? Yeah. I would not gonna lie. I feel like I've been deprived. I'm not gonna lie, Chief. My birthday yeah. and I didn't even remember. I'm hurt. Wow. Deeply. You didn't even give him a call. I gave him a call. That's really tough. I, Listen, I gave that Chief a call. So I gave Chief a meat call. Laid up me, laid up on me on the winter time here. If you guys would like to see an epic blackfin tuna video, I'll have that popping up right here. Shout out to Dan because I, he says I always miss where I'm supposed to pop. Right here, popping up right here, catching blackfin as soon as our bait touched the water. Check that video out. All right, so I'm just gonna follow my knife along its backbone, up the backbone here. And then if you guys have ever played tuna, you do know there's a super hard part right here. Break through it. Oh, this meat looks beautiful, Forrest. Did you say you're gonna clean up a dolphin? Golly, that's raggedy. Yes, I am. Comment down below if you eat raggedy dolphin. 
And then you can hear my knife gliding along its backbone. Oh my gosh, dude, this is meat. That's a really nice looking black thing. Yeah, we did. We really did bleed it out pretty solid. Yeah, we did. And then I'm gonna come in and just kind of angle my knife on its front side of the line here. Oh gosh, I, I, I got a fish on. Hold on. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, I see your bait. Look, it just look. went off, dude. I'm telling you. All right, look, yes, look, look, dude. Oh, look, look, look. Look at this beautiful fly. All right, Forrest says he's Forrest says he's got a snook on. Forrest, you're awfully suspect. I can see your bait jiggling. Look at this beautiful black fin tuna meat. We're gonna skin it. Forrest won't film me, so I can't show you. But we'll see you guys back at the house. Scoosh! Look how raggedy Forrest Dolphin looks. Imagine eating that. All right, boys and girls, we're back in the kitchen. We're with Chance. I know all you guys have been asking about Johnson. So we thought, you know, let's do a sushi video with Johnson. I, only for you. Just for you, babe. Actually, we played pickleball earlier and he couldn't score a point against me. That is not true. Who Kayla? Carried, who carried his team? Matt, you didn't carry anybody. Kayla? Just kidding. Carried you. Kayla? We, we no, held, the, we yeah, held, the, no. Hold on, no. the truth is Matt and Kayla won. They crushed everybody the whole night. Now, if we it matters. Adam and Kayla. Sorry, my bad. Adam and Kayla won every game. They crushed everybody. Mm -hmm. They're the wow. champs. Hey, does it matter that Matthew and I won the last game? It does. It does. No, it doesn't. It went no, to 17. Does. Yeah. I know. Anyways, you guys don't want to hear more pickleball, pickleball talk. That's why they come But, here. I know that's why you watch the vids. We got Katie. Kayla, Matthew, Dan Bags, Joe Bags, and Chance. And we're making choochie. <laughs> Pizzas and grapple roll. That is a real spicy. What do we got going on, Matt? This is a uh, rainbow esque roll. Rainbow esque roll. Yeah. We got the black fin tuna, and then we also picked up some salmon, or Chance did. Appreciate you, Johnson. We drove over the West Coast, yeah. caught some salmon real quick, yeah, drove back. Yeah, we drove over to Alaska, came back. <laughs> got the black fin tuna as well that you guys saw in this video. Tell me that clip, tell me that clip was not crazy. Oh wait, you, got, you didn't get to see it. I didn't film it. Like I said already, drop a like on this video because we haven't made sushi in a while. And that looks really, really, really good. But the problem, see the problem was, that's gonna go by really quick. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the that's the problem with making sushi is it takes so long and a lot of work. A lot of work. Damn, what knife are you flying with? This is our Dexter kitchen knife. Dexter kitchen knife. I don't know the exact knife. I'll have it linked down below as well as this sushi knife. This is a really 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 nice knife. Super nice sushi knife. You don't want a raggedy knife when you're cutting sushi, especially sashimi because, there we go. Because you don't want to break up that fish. You want clean cuts, especially when you're cutting the sushi. I'm trying to break up the fish here though. Yeah, Dan is here tuna. because he's making spicy tuna, but we'll have a link down below. And you can use code ADAM20 at checkout, save 20% off on everything from DexterOutdoors.com and save 20%. Right, Katie? And Katie and I went to some Oriental place earlier, Saigon Orientals. It was lights out. All right, guys, so we're in the kitchen right now making some sushi. And right now we're making a JB roll. I'm sure all of you have had that before. We got some salmon at uh, the local seafood market. Obviously, I didn't catch that one. But right now we're just putting rice on the outside of the seaweed wrap and then we'll get back to you when I'm ready to do the rest. And you gotta wipe your hands, right? You gotta wipe your hands. Constantly. With water? Let's see. Alright, I forgot to film the roll. Dan, tell us what you put in it. So I put some salmon, cream cheese, and avocado in it. Pretty simple, just your regular JB roll. And now we're gonna bring it over here and I'll cut it up real quick. The key to it is just to constantly clean the knife as you're going. Why? Because it gets sticky from the Yeah, rice. it'll pick up the rice, the cream cheese on the inside, and it's like long strokes. Mm. And then you get a nice looking piece like that. Can I get that end piece? Yeah. And you are all ready for that. End piece here? Oh 
You want it? You want the other end, please. Yeah. All right, so we're in the kitchen right now making the last sushi roll. We didn't film the other ones, but you'll see them on the table. And this last one is gonna be a spicy tuna roll. So we just take our rice here. You wanna make sure to wet your hands throughout this process because the rice is very sticky. You're just gonna press in like that and spread it out all over the seaweed paper. Doesn't have to be even, you don't have to worry about that. It's all gonna end up fine, but you just wanna make sure rice is around every section of this paper. Take a little bit of sesame seeds, white and black mixed. Just sprinkle that along. Then you take this and you flip it so the rice is face down. Now, I'm gonna take my spicy tuna that I've already pre-made, spread it out on the roll like this, just in the center, get like a nice big line. And then next, I'm gonna take some cream cheese and just spread it throughout. And a tiny bit of avocado. Why did you put that tiny piece of avocado there? Because it was a leftover. Yeah. And then like a little that. bit of cucumber. Besides. Making use of everything here on the counter. Yeah. This one be my best one, man. Good. And then we're rolling it. When you roll the roll, you just want to keep it tight. You don't want it falling apart. And that looks like it works. It's not perfect, but listen, we're in a little bit of a rush here. It's getting late, we want to feed some people, so we're just gonna take that, keep it the way it is. And then last step, you need a good knife. This is our Dexter sashimi knife. And what I do is that I like knife to- is sharp. Oh, razor sharp. It'll cut hair. What I like to do is I wet this knife with, this is a really damp towel if you can't tell. And you want to get it like, you can see the water on the knife. Because this rice is so sticky and the only thing that stops it from sticking is water. And then you just want to do nice long strokes, but also apply some decent pressure. And then every once in a while, just wet the knife again. Is this one you found, Dad? No, we filmed the spicy tuna. What would you do in this roll? This is just salmon, cream cheese, avocado. Matthew did this one, actually. Salmon, cream cheese, avocado, and then Dan dipped it in tempura batter and fried it. And boy, does it look good. Tempura is always my favorite roll. Mm -hmm. All right, we're getting plated Wait, up here. Up. Dan, name I'll all the rolls. Right, yeah, What's this roll? Uh, the cream cheese, or I can name cream JB. cheese. Or that's tempura JB. Tempura JB. Some type of carrot roll, can't call it. The spicy tuna roll, another spicy tuna roll. Salmon, avocado, cream cheese. And then, this is the prettiest. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Matthew. I don't know. I don't know. Joe, did you get the Rangus roll? I didn't get the Rangus roll, baby. You went two? Ten four, then. Well, it came back to me, I forgot. Oh, you poor thing. You didn't get one of these, did you? Hmm. Spice, spicy tuna. And then this yeah. is eel sauce. What's this one? Carrot. carrot top? Yeah, carrot top. Carrot top. This is eel sauce. I personally like it on everything. Yeah, it's beef. Ooh, put me a little eel sauce down there, okay, doe. So, we're actually out of chopsticks. I don't want to hear it in the comments at all. Yep, we're going American style. What a fork. Am I trying it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're trying it. I'm fucked out. It's ladies. Matt, yeah. try one. Which one? Whichever one you want, dude. I'm gonna go with uh, carrot top. Carrot top. A little mm. bit of that eel sauce. Mmm. A little bit of soy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of mm-hmm's going on. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to finish this meal. Little, little sushi party going on here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you made it this far, 
One last time, drop a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Share with a friend. Drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Stay tuned. We are almost at 50,000 subscribers, and we're giving away a boat. Till next video. <laughs> Moving weight out.